welcome back to my channel so for this week's video i thought i would do a video talking about my plants i know i mentioned i've mentioned them once or twice in previous videos but i thought it's because i went really really crazy with plants this year that i would just show you guys the plants that i got um i really do not know much about taking care of them and like knowing all of their needs because I just went plant crazy and just bought a bunch that I thought were so pretty and the ones that I thought were like oh my gosh I need to I need to have them or I yeah I need to have them so I'm just gonna show you my two shelves but we're just gonna get on with the little plant tour I thought we would start with my top shelf which is this one this one I think was one of the first plants or maybe the second plant I've actually purchased and th that is the name right there cyan red aurora aurora and i have it too there's a little those are the dead flowers i haven't been able to pull them off because if i do it tugs at the actual plant and i don't want to rip it so i'm just waiting for them to die off this plant originally came with two stems and as you can see it has one two and then this third one right here but it has grown out of the pot can't really see but it's grown out of the pot but the colors are so pretty they're pink and they're pinky green all over the leaves and i really really love it you can definitely see on this one i have a window right here so it i guess it loves the window that it sits on then my next plant right here is a peperomia obtusula i believe and the regular peperomia obtusulas are just plain green so mine is variegated it does have damage along the leaves but this was the last one in store and i really really wanted it and so i got it most of my plants come from home depot or Lowe's. the next plant i got right here is a dracena dracena lemon lime and i got this one at ikea believe it or not maybe like at the beginning of the year so it's been with me for a very long time it does have leaf damage but i really thought it was pretty and I was really excited to have it because, like I said, I think this was my first um, plant purchase. And so I really love this one. And it has grown a ton. My next one is this one. And I think it's a Pearls and Jade. I am not sure because Pearls and Jade and Enjoy Pothos look the same. It has new growth coming in right there. It has one leaf damage. But that's how I bought it. Next one is this pretty baby. I got it in LA at a nursery. I did a vlog on it, I believe, on my vlog channel or my main channel, like a birthday vlog. And this one is an Exotica Pathos. And it has grown a lot. It doesn't seem like much, but it has grown a lot since I've gotten it. And I think it may be time to water just because the leaves feel a little bit soft. They're not, like, they're, like, very bendable. So I'm definitely going to need to water it. My next plant right here is a Hoya Super Splash public x something like that i'm not sure on the names but i pronounce the name but this is like a super splash it has like splashy things all over the leaves and i put it like on a trellis so it just like wraps around itself as it grows this one i believe is the silvery and exotica a uh, silvery and pothos i think that's the name that's like the sibling to that one and this one I got it from Home Depot, it's in its original pot, original dirt. This right here, it's really heavy to carry, but these are my succulents. I for those are type of Hogwartias, but I don't know the exact names of those. I think it's like zebra or, or red something, but I have a couple of those there and they seem to be doing fine. This one, I think, see, I asked in a Facebook group chat what this one was and it's grown, it's grown a good amount. With leaf damage, of course, all of mine have leaf damage. But um, I think this one is a marble pothos. A lot of people said it was a snow queen, but I think it's a marble pothos just because of the way it looks. Like I said, I'm not too sure on names, but it could be something like that. Now this one, oh my gosh, I love it. The leaves are big, they're ginormous, very healthy growing and there's always a bunch of babies coming out like right there you can see a baby and this one i oh my gosh i love peperomias i bought one on a facebook um page where you just like buy sell trade plants and i bought one there i was a little sad about it because 
and a lot of leaves came damaged so I had to cut them off and then when I went to Cordova Gardens I ended up getting another one a little pricey but I just put both of them together and they're doing really really well together it's giving me a bunch of new babies so I'm really happy about it and I just love how they just like spring out and are wild however they please this one this purchase I'm not going to say the price because it made me really, really mad. But this is a marble peperomia. Pink marble peperomia. I forgot the name. Or pink lady peperomia. And just like, look at the colors. Oh my goodness. There's pink, blacks, greens. Like, look at this leaf. I really love this one, but the price made me angry. So I'm not going to talk about it. This one, I got a Mercari, which is where I sell my plants. This is a no, this is a Hoya Obtusfula Splash. It's not super splash, doesn't really have a lot. And it's super cute and it's just like that. It's growing upwards. I don't have it on trellis because on its own it's standing up and I really like that. This one right here, which you can see in the background of my previous videos. Look at that leaf. So cute. It's white. This one is a Hoya Queen. Crimson Queen or just Hoya Queen? And it's super healthy, except a couple like leaves I just pull out, <laughs> but it is super healthy. And then one of them is going up and I really love it because look at this leaf, it's huge. Look at that, it's huge, it's like the size of my palm. And there's a bunch of white leaves coming out. This one, when it was a baby, it was really pink and now it's like growing out with white. I heard a lot of the white leaves don't really last, so I'm hoping this one is okay. This one right here is the one I am having trouble with. It's my Hoya Crimson Princess. This one was much, much more full. And it just started dying off on its own. So like a week ago, I decided to take it out of its pot. And like take off completely the dead plants away from this one. And mix in its original soil with my regular potting soil that I use for my plants, my succulents, whatever. And I decided to put it here and it seems to be doing okay. It does have a lot of damage since the plants were dying on its own. So I'm hoping it just survives here. Put it under here because it loves the spot it is in. So I'm hoping it just likes the spot this is in because I had it over here. But we're going to do that. Now this one right here is my Hoya Crinkle. And oh my goodness, when I bought it, it was like this high. Look at the growth it has on it. I definitely need to go and dust all my plants, their leaves, because it's very dusty. But it's loving where it's at right now. It's like growing. It's giving me so much growth, and I love that for it. This one right here is my my heart Hoya, my Carrii, my Hoya Carrii. And it's in the shape of a heart. So you can see the heart-shaped leaves. This one is not in dirt. I have it in Lekka which I bought from Ikea. So basically it's a substitute for soil and you just have to be putting nutrients and water. So like it's a self-watering thing. So it waters itself whenever it needs it. I wasn't putting nutrients, which I, is on my bad because I was just lazy and didn't want to mix in. I had the nutrients, just didn't. So this leaf, when it grew out, it just didn't grow out to that greatest. And when I rinsed it like completely one of the roots were not um, growing as much as I'd like. So hopefully with the nutrients, the roots can grow out more. This one is my hairy, my hairy eye. This is my Hoya Curtsy, Curtsy Eye. And as it, you can see right here, it has a couple dying leaves. But I've also heard these are really, really tricky to grow and for them to like their placement. But this one also didn't really have much to it. And now this this right here, all the fact that it's standing up this high. Hold on. The fact that it's standing up this high up here, it likes where it is. Maybe I just need to um, fix the soil. But I also heard they do not like being moved from where they are. Because then they get like a little sassy and bratty and then just die off. So... I'm really struggling if I should fix that one or not. This one is another Peperomia. This is a Peperomia Frost. And oh my gosh, when I saw it, I had to get it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And it's growing amazing. They're like smaller leaves. 
but it's so bushy and so pretty as you can tell and i just love this one this right here is my very fast succulent i have a love hate relationship with this one because as it continues to grow the leaves start to fall on their own like that one they just start to fall and i do not know why i know succulents are meant to be like outside or um their watering situations have to be different which i water i water very very scarcely if that's what it is i water like once every two weeks because it's inside and then my outside succulents i water once every week so it's very different this one oh my gosh i bought this in like a tiny 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 two inch pot and look at how much it's grown look at all those white leaves white with green this one should have pink too which you can kind of see right here but it's not sorry for my nails mm. <laughs> this one i don't understand the inside is like dead but the outside continues to grow and i'm so scared of changing its pot just for that reason because if the inside leaves are dead does that mean the roots are dead but it's also like why is it growing if it's like dead on the inside and it really likes this spot every time i turn it you see it right now how they're facing towards the window if i were to face it tomorrow instead of them facing this way they'd be facing this way they turn toward the sun it's really cute i'm just really scared to change its pot this one right here is a hoya queen cutting that i got from summer and i've just kept it in lekka because um it was rooting in water and it's just grown in lekka and then i put a piece of my hoya princess cutting in here which came off from one of the dead um dead pieces of the hoya and then my my marble pot though so i put some cuttings in there because they were just falling off so hopefully they grow oh these these are mother of thousands they are in a propagation thing so i basically water them and then like what is that condensation i don't know um it's basically just moist in there it doesn't look at it right now but there's the water it's usually creates like humidity in there and then i have string of turtle cuttings in there that i want to grow out to sell as well because i know those are very popular this right here is my hoya hindu rope my hoya rope and this one is very tricky too because it's like i don't know what's going on with it because it's this right here was like the size of this and it's grown out the same for this one it was pretty small and it's grown out but this one seems to be dying off. I just pulled the leaf off of it. So I don't know what it wants. It was doing super well for like months on end. So I guess just got to keep an eye on it. If I lose it, I lose it. It is one of my pricier plants right there. I'm not going to say the price because it's a little embarrassing. But <laughs> that's one of my pricier plants. This one Summer was able to get for me because I couldn't find it anywhere in stores. And this is a philodendron brazil i think the name is and it looks to be having new growth right there and it's so pretty look at the leaf is unfurling is that what it's called i just really love it this right here was one of my favorite leaves but it looks like it's dying off so you know you just plants are kind of like you you live you learn so like as you're going along with the plant's journey you're learning to take care of it so far it's been doing really really well this right here is one of my favorite plants it's a peperomia prostrata as you can tell i like peperomias and hoyas a lot this is a string of turtles if you do not know the peperomia prostrata name it's string of turtles and it's called that because of the the what is that the style the texture not the texture the design it has on its leaves they look like turtles so it's called a turtle string of turtles and it's this one's like pretty hard to get your hands on and i know okay this one i'm not afraid to say the price because these were going for like 40 bucks and i paid 20 for this and you're like oh that's crazy imagine how much i paid for that so <laughs> i paid 20 for this and it's grown so much and i have taken cuttings from it and sold them just like as cuttings and so that's great look at this oh my goodness it's long overview of the shelf and they get pretty good lighting because i my two windows here oh ignore that my two windows there and then this window here so it gets pretty good lighting so i mean they're happy for the most part on my alex drawers is another setup i have of plants 
these are my string of hearts that I am trying to sell. The these are like dead leaves, but the white is just like um mineral buildup from the water. I I was watering from the top, so it killed them a bunch. And so now that I'm watering from the bottom, they're starting to grow. So hopefully I can just sell this soon and just get it out of here. These right here, this one and this one, are string of hearts, but they are variegated. Um and look at that. The new growth so beautiful. I decided to grow out and look at how beautiful it's doing. Hopefully these get to be that way too. This one right here, I could not find it anywhere. And for the price of, that I paid for it, definitely not worth it. But I kept it because I wanted it. I could have resold it, but I didn't. And look at new growth. I noticed that I get a lot of good growth when I water all my plants from the bottom. So I put them in a bowl, water them from the bottom. It does take time to fill up. But I noticed watering plants from the bottom is the best for them, especially when inside. Because I don't overwater, they just take the water they need. And I don't get a lot of like those flying gnats, which you normally get if you overwater plants. But look at that new growth. Hopefully it grows healthy. I have my my Hindu rope, the white again and the mineral buildup. And this one is a variegated, the variegata, I think that's what it's called. And it's like that. I mean, it's doing well, so I don't want to change the pot, but I know I have to. So I'm going to be doing that soon. This one right here, the succulent was doing really, really well. And right now it's just like fighting for its life. This one was like a rosebud. So I'm just hoping it doesn't die. Two right here. This one, a lot, a lot of people struggle with. Die. A couple leaves died, but if I pull it, it pulls out the plant. And I don't want that. So I'm actually really lucky that mine is still fighting for its life this is a new leaf right here unfurling so you know we're, we're going with it we're hoping it survives because yeah this one i don't know the name of it i totally forgot all of mine i know you guys are gonna be like wow terrible plant mom because of the, all the dead leaves but honestly they're really healthy for being inside in a room that just has air coming from one window and it's super pretty. I try to keep mine all in pots that have holes on the bottom or terracotta. That way they can um, wick up water from the bottom and just take as much as they need. And it's so pretty. These are so funny though. Because during the day, they're like just like flopping down like this, like open. But in the night, they go like... And they're just like standing up straight. Like for what? Like it's nighttime. There's no light. Why are you doing that? So that was it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed all my plant craze. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.